Hi everyone and welcome to another review. This time I want to look at snow shovels because it's winter time and we've been having a really hard winter this year. So I've needed to use a shovel quite a bit. Now when it comes to snow shovels, of course there's um, everything from A to Z and back to A again as far as options and there's so many companies that make shovels. I mean you go to the hardware store there's probably five different kinds of dedicated snow shovels there. You've got uh, poly grain scoops aluminum uh, grain scoops and then of course the snow blades and um, ground shovels even for uh, heavy duty stuff if you need to chop ice. If you have a really large driveway and no snow plow or blower or any other means of powered snow removal then uh, it's going to make a difference whether your drive is gravel or if it's paved or concrete because you have a few more options. If you have pavement or concrete, you have that hard surface, a lot of those uh, dedicated snow blades would actually work really well, probably almost better than this. If, especially if you only have a couple inches. But this tool right here, this is called the Wiz. And the sticker's worn off, you can't see it anymore. I've had this for about three or four years, and this has been by far the best way of removing snow that I've ever used as far as when it comes to doing it by hand. And this thing works great on gravel. Now most of, like I'm saying, most of those snow blades aren't going to work well on gravel. A lot of them have wheels on. Some of them, um, there's different kinds. Um, probably one of the best ones I've seen is the, the Perfect Shovel from Nordic Plow, which actually you can angle it and it's a pretty nice high blade. Um, that one would probably work okay, but that's going to be a lot more money, too, than what this is. I will post the prices for these in uh, the description. But this, uh, as far as I know, is still only exclusively available at Paul B. Hardware in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. And they're actually made in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, which is very close to the area where I used to live. All right, Paul B. Hardware in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. This is one of the places to go. If you live in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, for specialty stuff, let's go see if we can find the Wiz. Pretty much everything you can think of when it comes to hardware and tools, you name it, they have it. Right here they are. All kinds of different sizes. This is the 2422. And that's just a small one. And anyway, then they got the higher ones back here. Looks like they changed the design a little bit since when I got mine. They have a double bevel here, a two, two-stage bevel instead of single-stage bevel on the bottom here. They have the two-foot here and the three-footers and the four-footer. So the three-footer is the one I have. They'll almost be worth getting a four-footer. Um, for, you know, really light snow. They also have the one there with the double handles. That's a four-footer. It's got the two handles, cross piece on top, so you can really push. The blade is made out of a clear polycarbonate, extremely durable. I mean, it's flexible. You can you can bend the uh, you can bend the blade. Unlike most of the shovels that you're going to buy at an average hardware store. This thing is built to last. It'll last you for years and years. I've had this for three or four years now, and it's gotten very heavy use. Some of the years, not much, but this year, very much use, and it performs just like new. You can see it's, uh, it's very scratched up, and the sticker's worn off, but other than that, it performs just like new. The edge is a little bit worn, but it's rock solid. And as you can see, the construction here is very simple. This uh, slab of polycarbonate here is beveled at the bottom edge, and then it has not quite a 90 degree bevel at the top with a two inch lip. 
and then the handle is simply drilled down through that lip on the top and a clamp on the end of it. And this clamp is just as tight as it was from new. It's completely solid and a metal clamp there, tough as it needs to be. And then there's a screw through the back side of the polycarbonate blade into the wooden handle. This thing will work anywhere for up to about maybe six inches of snow. Uh, beyond there, it's it's not going to work real well because you're going to have to use it more like a shovel where you just you scoop it and then you throw it. And this is a big blade. If you have this thing full of snow, it's a lot of weight to throw around. You may be better off with a grain scoop and the snow gets that deep. But up to about six inches, this will actually push fairly well. And then when you get to the end of the push, you simply throw it. You grab with both hands just like a shovel. It's, that's what I really like about this thing. It's so versatile. So I wanted to do a demo on these and get it out there so people can see that and spread the word a little bit about how great these things actually are when it comes to removing a lot of snow. So let's get out there and shovel some snow.
Okay, here's the heavy snow, the berm along the street, so you can see how it works in this heavier stuff. And this is uphill a little bit too, so it makes it a little harder. 